Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about memory. Huh? Memory. Ah, but much less memory than we have up here. Hopefully. Yeah? We're talking about one bit memory. So just store if it was if there's a one or a zero. One bit of a memory. Yeah? So this is the task. We want to store something. Huh? Bit. One or zero. Let's start. Let's start with an OR. Here we do have our OR. And we will use this Looks good. Here is X, our input, and here is Y, our output. How does it look like? Let's say Y in the beginning is zero and X is also zero. So here we have X, here we have Y, and here we have the time. Good. At the beginning, y is 0, and also x is 0. Now let's assume x goes to 1. Then y goes to 1. Maybe a little bit later, but it will go to 1. Then both are 1. And now let's assume y is going back to zero. What will happen to uh, x is going back to zero? What will happen to y? It will stay up because it's holding itself, let's say. Well, we can store something, right? But we cannot delete something. So this is a memory which is not deletable, maybe desirable, but usually not. We have to somehow be able to open this line here. Do not every time store and we want to open this because then there would be why would go away. How can we do this? Well, I think this with, the, with this or this was already a pretty nice idea, but down here I need something more. I need a new element. So there is an OR. Mm -hmm. The output is still Y. The input here is still X. This time I write x0 okay. and down here I'm not going directly back I'm going in here and from here out here I need an element where I can block this eh? And I will do it like this. This here I call x1. Let's see what is happening here. Time t. Here we have x0. We have x1. And of course we have y. So let's assume everything is zero. Huh? Let's assume x zero is going to one and is then going away again. What is happening to y? Zero. And if this is one, it's for sure one. If this is one, we go here. 
if this is zero, it this will be one and the the end is fulfilled and it will hold itself, so it will stay up as long as x1 is zero. And then at some point in time x1 is raised and going away afterwards. And exactly at this point in time, where this is getting 1, yeah, this is 0, the end is no longer fulfilled, and y will drop. Okay. Memory. This is a memory. I can set it. So this is usually called this is usually called a set line. I can delete it. So this is usually it's called the reset line, okay, and I can watch what is inside the memory. So this is usually called Q. Dropped my pen. This is usually called Q. This is a memory. We said dropped another pen. What's happening? Yeah. What day is it? So, what is it? Memory? And we said, yeah, okay, memory. We usually do NAND or NOR technology. Can this be built in, I don't know, NOR? Can we do this? And I tell you, of course. I said, yes, we can. We always can. And the NOR technology, of this memory here looks like this. Of course, there are two nores. There's one set line, there's one reset line. And I will draw it now a little bit strange, but it has a reason, you will see. This. Okay. And I'm writing now the signals. Okay. This is the set line. This is the reset line. This is the memory content. And this is the inverted memory content. Okay. Let's say our starting position is that we have here 0. Write it here, 0. And here 1. So the memory is deleted up to now. So if this is 0, this is 0. Okay. If this is one, this is one. Yeah? And if we have here zero and zero, yeah? zero or zero is zero, inverted is one, this will stay one. Yeah? And zero and one or is one, inverted is zero, this will stay zero. Perfect. Now let's assume we got here in one. Okay. We got here in one. This or is now fulfilled. This will here before will be one. Afterwards, we will get this to zero. If this is zero, we go down here, then this is getting zero as well. If this is zero and this stays zero, this is zero and we'll get here one. Pack, we've said it. And the one will get up here. This will stay one. Zero. Perfect. Okay. After a while, here I said we at this point in time we stay at zero. After a while, we will go back to zero here again on set. So both are zero. If this is zero, this is one still. We have here one. After what zero, we will stay at zero. So. Nothing is changing here. Oh, zero will stay at zero. Nothing is changing here. 
he will stay at 1. Yeah? If here is 1, we will stay at 1. This nothing will change here. Huh? We have stored it, successfully stored. Huh? Now, this is getting 1. This stays at 0. Okay? This is getting 1. So, this is fulfilled now. Yeah? Here is 1, here is 0. We get to 0. If this is 0, this is 0. There are two zeros, 0, inverted, 1. Yeah? It, here we are 1. Perfect. We deleted the memory. Okay. And now, the final thing. Go back to zero and zero. If this is zero now, yeah, this will stay one here. So we will stay here at zero. If this is zero, we will stay here at zero. Both are zero. We will stay here at one. It's exactly the same situation like we had at the beginning with the beginning blue. This is a memory in NAND technology. This is how this looks like. So there's nothing magical about this, it's just a pretty neat combination of elements. Okay. There is one disadvantage of those elements. The main... Well, let's say this has a certain symbol. The symbol looks like this memories. Yeah. Big block. Yeah. There is a set, there's a reset, there's a Q and a Q squared. That's it. That's a so-called latch. Yeah. What is inside, if it's an AND or an OR or an AND, it's okay. Yeah. Latch, memory, symbol. Major disadvantage of these things is that if both are there, yeah, then the behavior is strange. Yeah? So we need to take sh be sure that here in this ledge area, yeah, we only we are sure we're only getting one signal. Okay, so either set or reset because if both signals are there, the behavior depends on which technology is used. Yeah? Can be strange. Okay. I'll show you how we can fulfill this. Yeah. Show you how we can fulfill this. So there is, put this away there, zack. There is this latch memory with my set and reset lines. And let's say I want to to have that the set line has priority. If both are there, I want to have the set line priority. Yeah. Then I make this thing here. Yeah. I make an end. Yeah. And here, the reset input, I only let pass if not at the same time the set line is on. Okay. So if the set line is on, this will be zero and reset cannot pass. If both are there, the latch only gets the set and not the reset. So here as priority. Priority. S as priority. Let's draw this. How this looks like if R should have priority, then it looks like exactly the other way around, of course. Yeah? R, S. S is only passing through if R is not there. So this is R priority. Reset. Priority. Okay. And maybe we don't give want to give one signal a priority. Yeah, we want to give the first appearing signal the priority. Whatever is first. Yeah. 
whatever is first shall be the priority. So it's all also possible. Yeah. There is the ledge. There are my two priority ends. This time I need two. The ledge SR Q Q. S, R, and these are two ends, and I also need to you see here the first coming signal has priority. If S was first, will it will be here and will block a later R as long as S is there. If R was first, it will come here and will block a later S. Yeah. So here at the ledge, yeah, here's the first priority. First signal priority. Yeah. That would be the possibilities. Yeah. Priority to S, priority to R, priority to first signal which will appear. Yeah. Just to be sure, at the ledge logic, there is only one signal available, not more. Yeah, that's it. This is how memory works. Yeah? And a lot of things are clever combinations of storing things, shifting things and so on. We will see, we can produce different types of memories just with this memory here. Yeah? There will be flip-flops, there will be counters and so on. Yeah, this will be done in the next videos. For now, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.